Jack to Nerdy fans, Jeremy here with a super special unboxing video to bring in the new year. Today we are unboxing the 1-6 scale Hulkbuster armor by Hot Toys based off the incredible uh, Hulkbuster armor from the Avengers Age of Ultron. This was a holy grail figure for me. When they announced the release of this figure uh, for pre-orders, Basically, every business in Australia sold out on pre-orders within a matter of hours. And unfortunately, I was not one of those people that got it. But luckily, after months and months and months of searching, I managed to secure one. So here it is. This is the 1-6 scale Hulkbuster by Hot Toys. This is the first edition, the first one that they ever released, not the second. This is the very first original one. Now, before I jump into that unboxing though, as this is the new year, as always, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. We've got lots planned for this year. Uh, we've got lots more hot toys on their way being delivered as we speak. We've got plenty of mystery boxes planned for you. And also this year is going to be an incredible year for both film and TV. So we've also got lots of reviews planned. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys do not miss out on a video. Now with that out of the way, let's jump straight into it because I know you guys are eager to see this figure. So very much like the uh, Batmobile Tumblr, this is a very big figure, comes in a massive styrofoam sarcophagus to keep it all safe so let's get her open shall we Alrighty. as you can see there on the front it's got a nice little clerk there with all the artists information on it I'm pretty sure there are some instructions there as well. But what we'll do is we'll have a look at those in a minute. And there she is. This is an incredible figure. Let's get the plastic off. Wow. I was so excited when they announced that they were going to make this figure automatically jumped to the number one must-have figure for my collection and I mean I haven't even got the plastic off of it and automatically I'm straight away I'm impressed okay let's try and I'll try and get him out of here Ooh, gentle use he's heavy that's right this is a die cast figure so it's made out of metal so it is quite heavy Ooh, I can't even get him out. Uh, it, oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoop. <laughs> All right. Don't want to damage him. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So, as we said, whoop, this is the 1 6th scale Hulk Buster. Whoop. By Hot Toys. This retails for a good $1,200. At least that's what it retailed for when it first was announced. Since then, obviously, market values change. But that being said, I think $1,200 was an absolute bargain. Considering the quality of what we've got here. So we'll just get some of these plastic bits off so they've done a very good job with the packaging keeping everything all nice and safe as you can tell there with the uh, attention to detail as we've come to expect from hot toys 
the painting, the sculpting, everything on there. All the little scratches and dents and battle damage you can see on the chest plate, the head plate here, obviously from fighting Hulk. The, the paintwork and the attention to detail is just incredible. Now, with this figure, obviously, uh, as I said before, it is die cast. It is made, so die cast metal. So it's very heavy, very bulky. Um, it's not flimsy like plastic and those sorts of things. So, you know, you know you've got a good quality figure there. Um, a lot of these uh, Iron Man figures now are being made die cast so that they are long lasting. You can see here the little pulse or arc pulse blasters. All of these do light up. There is um, lots of them situated all over the body, chest, face, hands. All of them have light up features, uh, which is fantastic. This figure does come with a little box here with all the little batteries. So you can, you can have it as a completely freestanding figure, battery powered. Um, there is also a company, I cannot think of the life for me right now, uh, but I will post it in the comments section. There is a company that manufactures um, lighting kits so that you can actually hardwire these figures into mains power and have them in your display cabinet connected to mains power so you're not reliant on batteries. Um, I will, yeah, I'll, when, I, uh, when I post this, I will post the name of the company in the uh, comment section if you are interested in checking them out as well. So, as I said, um, all the light-up features, of course, you've got the arc reactor in the middle there. This whole section does open up much like the um, the movie and you can actually fit a full size one six scale Iron Man uh, action figure inside this as well. So if you wanted to in your display cabinet you could open this all up and then just put in a figure and have it sitting in there in the open. Um, so that's a neat little extra as well. Um, this figure in itself, so from the moment they started taking pre-orders to when the figure was released, it took two and a half years for them to actually release this figure to the public. I ordered mine six months into that, so I was on a waiting list for two years to get this figure. Um, but, as you can see, well worth it. Um, the reason why it took so long, normally these figures only take six months to develop, a year most. The reason why this one took so long is because they really took their time uh, to obviously to craft it, to come up with all the specific details. Also, they were continuously adding new things to it. Originally, it wasn't going to open up. Originally, it wasn't going to be die cast, but throughout the uh, production process, they kept uh, deciding to add extra things to it to make the figure better. So in my opinion, was two and a half years a long time to wait for one figure? Absolutely. Was it worth it? 100%. Would I definitely do it? And I would definitely do it all over again. This, as I said, is a holy grail piece for me. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, this is going to be a centerpiece of my collection without a doubt um words just don't describe how much i love this figure what do you guys think is this a figure that you guys want in your collection are you willing to pay 1200 dollars us for this figure let me know your thoughts in the comments section below uh mrs jack de nerdy is shaking her head at the moment <laughs> um but you know what I love it. I think it was worth it. Um, without a doubt, there's a centerpiece of my collection. Hit me up in the comments section below. Get, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Um, also, being the new year, we are open to, as always, we are open to suggestions for the channel. 
if there's a particular upcoming movie that you are really interested in that you would like to see us do a review of, if there's a TV show that you are really passionate about and you want us to do a, a discussion or a review of, let us know. Action figures, Lego sets. If there's a particular... Ah, again, mystery boxes. If there's a particular film franchise or TV franchise that you would like to see us try and find a mystery box for, hit us up in the comment section below. We want your thoughts and opinions and we'll do whatever we can to make those happen uh, or those videos happen. So hit us up in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see extra content, head on over to Instagram. Check out our Instagram channel. It is at Jack the Nerdy. Um, same as the YouTube channel. Uh, we got heaps of behind the scenes content on there as well. And until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.